shut up. Like stand up, both of you. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, see us for things which thou hast made. Look down upon this school and for thy blessing, for its members. Fill our hearts with thankfulness to thee for all our blessings. Help us to do our daily work with all diligence and cheerfulness, that we may learn to use our time and talents for the good of our nation, the honour and glory of thy holy name. Give us the spirit of truthfulness and manliness, and grant that while we labour after earthly knowledge, you may also grow in the knowledge of thee, and of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Here. Here's the normal medicine to start with. To remind that all ministers' complaint entries must be in by tomorrow, complete with a copy of the music for the adjudicator. Leave the library room 315 chart on Tuesday. Can the four be ten? All this was for me to get one one year or three things. Tennis, all members of the last of the tennis team are only in breach for the weekend. Despite the fine weather on Saturday, it's the same that occurred. The pitch on the lower field was saturated to make my fight up. There's no possibility to start for at least four or five hours to play with the band of the day. And the same occurred to the first day of the game, which is unfortunate. So both games were postponed on Saturday. Athletics, all boys who compete in the Central Zone Championships last Sunday, plus the following, will represent the School of Gateway Hero Meeting, now Smart Stadium on Monday, March 22nd. There will be a 5 on bus team. Check this out for those more details. So all team members, plus the new team members, then, the about 3A, the Fox 3D, the Dodson 3G, can be under 5 to train a on 3G. Cross country, all the now competed in the paper chase relay at the weekend. Alexander Wastebrook. The relay consisted of five three kilometre laps. In the senior grade, McCain's and Westlake boys ran away with the rest, came first and second respectively. So it's McCain's first, Westlake second, and Grammar came third. In the, in the intermediate boys, Grammar came third again, behind Westlake and Wayoko. <coughs> and in the junior boys, Grammar came second, with some promising performances from the third for Rubber. So adequate results there. Easy rate tennis team played to Kennedy College on Saturday. In the number one singles match, our cook beat a recent grandma old boy, Jay Ross, nine. Sorry, the 18 made a remarkable start for the new thing that's called cycling season yesterday. In car and walk conditions, the 18 of F R A A Lindsay, K Clark, and the next butler and Jay Key took a six second lead over Abigail and Howard to put away. Pushing just to 16 seconds over Abigail and Pretor and 24 seconds at the finish. With Howard cleared a further 6 to 17 seconds back. The AGS 18's time of 20 minutes, 21 minutes 30 was the fastest 
to the Ohio River, the Wick State, the Kenya, and how it was high school. And we will cover a lot of this great code. The Gap and Green King's College, the rest of the South End. The crew are now looking forward to the World Cup of Jack and Green next Saturday and Sunday. The best performance to date by the CEO. And they're on the market then for Mardi Cup and World Cup. I will congratulate the game for coming in front of the school for very fine performance. And finally, of course, we congratulate the Kenya College. Get a party of winners now for the second year on end, and therefore I walk from Murray County. Congratulations to Kenny, and all the best to Grandma and Guess Wonder. Library, we play the rules of this form over the bottom of the front of the hall of the Now, obviously, the display on one of the hall, the way it is in the display, the way it is by Mr. Smith, we can charge the way it is against the way it is in the school, the staff of Mr. Smith then will be in the display. and to in support of weightlifting at Auckland Grammar School. As Nigel had said, Auckland has had some outstanding weightlifters and today we'll see three of them here, pupils or former pupils, one including James Swan, who's only recently left the school, will be going to the Junior World Championships in Czechoslovakia. And which will help you boys in sports, school and your chosen career. In a moment, Pupils and former pupils from the school will give you an exhibition here at Weightlifting. I hope you enjoy it and you take something away from it. Thank you. Regularly snatches 80, 
and attain spleen and jerks of 100. This morning he is lifting below his personal best and the weight on the bar is 65 kilograms. Mr Hughes is an experienced international lifter, having toured Australia with the New Zealand team last year and was also selected for the New Zealand team, the senior team, to compete, compete at the Commonwealth and Oceania Championship. We'll note that the bar is lifted over the head in one swift movement. Balance, speed and technique play a major part in the success of the lift. demonstrated by A. Farr of 7B, captain of weightlifting this year. Farr's personal best clean and jerk stands at 125. Today he will attempt 110 in the demonstration. I'll ask him to come on stage now. The clean and jerk is a two-part lift. attempting a 130. Now James' best clean and jerk is a little more than this, it's 147.5 and uh, this stands as a New Zealand junior record which he set just last week. James departs tomorrow for Germany as Mr Cameron outlined where he will spend several months training with top German coaches in his endeavours to reach the highest international standard possible. Thank you James.